Hi guys, my name is Lauren and welcome to my channel. Let me be the first to say that 2020 kicked my ass, okay? It kicked my ass. So that being said, I need everything fun and good and light and just happy, feel good that I can get. Um, that being said, I am happy to announce that one of those things that I will be coming back to co-host Blackathon again for round three or four, depending on how you look at it, because there was a round of Blackathon that was like half round that took place in June for Juneteenth. Now, let's jump right into it. Blackathon was created by Jesse over at Bowties and Books to celebrate blackness in literature in a community where black voices, black books, black work, it's, it's you have to search for it. There was a very small niche community for it and it was hard to find. Can, can y'all let me be great for five minutes? I was very humbled and very excited to be asked to participate in a Blackathon around two, one, excuse me, and that feeling persists today. I am super excited, super happy that my friend asked me back for another round and I cannot wait. Now, what's changing this round? This year, Blackathon, if you can believe it, is even more diverse. It's even more inclusive. It's spread across more platforms. It, it's just everybody and anybody can participate. There are YouTube hosts. There are Instagram hosts. There are movie watch alongs. There are Twitter challenges. Are there Twitter challenges? I think they made that up. There are YouTube challenges. There are Instagram challenges. I heard pray tell there may be some uh, giveaways on your old Twitter channel. So first and foremost, you need to follow the Blackathon Twitter page, right? Chair. That will be where you get all of the 411 concerning the readathon, anything that's changing, anything that gets updated, moved around, any more information you need or want. Hit up the Blackathon channel, Twitter. Hit up the Blackathon Twitter at Blackathon1. You can also make sure you follow the hosts um, on their social media accounts, and I will get more into that as we go along. Another change is this year Blackathon has a theme and the theme is travelers. That can be a physical travel, an emotional journey, a metaphysical journey, a psychological journey, just, okay. Black books with traveling. I, I wanted to say something profound there and I, could, I, I couldn't fail. Child, I ain't done this in so long. Jesus! But yeah, so like I said, there are movie watch alongs. Let's get into that first. Again, um, Black Town will take place. Not only are there YouTube challenges, there are Twitter and Instagram. And again, Twitter is the place to get the 411 on what's changing, what's happening the quickest. And the movie watch alongs will take place on both Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you follow Jesse at Bowties and Books over on Instagram because that is the uh, main hub for the info for Black Thon on IG. The movie watch alongs will all take place at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. The first movie will be on February 6th, and that movie is Spiral. It is a black queer horror story. The next movie watch along will be on 213. That is Photograph. It is a black contemporary story. On 220, we'll be watching Miss Juneteenth. It is a black feel good, I think, coming of age movie. And then lastly, on 226, we have Pumzi. Pumzi. Oopsie. Can't remember how you pronounce that. It is a sci-fi movie, so I'm hella psyched about that because that's my jazam. That was so lame, why did I do that? I, I, I don't know. And again, commentary for the follow along, the watch alongs will be on IG and on Twitter. So more info on that. Again, follow Jesse on IG and follow the Blackathon page on Twitter. Like last year, there will also be blackout dates on IG and on Twitter. And how you participate in the blackout is just to post a selfie of yourself using the hashtag Blackathon2021. Now, I don't think this should need clarification, but I'm gonna clarify anyway. If you identify as black, if you're half black, if you're a quarter black, if you're all the way black, if you're black Latinx, if you're Afro Latina, if you if you're black child, you can post. Don't 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 be trying to shame people and be like, but you mix, but you this. But you that, child, you know you. If you black, just in blackout, use the hashtag. Love to see that face. Make sure you use that hashtag so we can find you both. Please, 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 please. Make sure we can find you. Oh, y'all, the dates, the date, the dates for that. 
February 7th, <laughs> February 14th, February 21st, and February 28th for the blackout dates. Remember, once again, use the hashtag Blackathon2021 so we can find you. Now, there's a week of IG challenges. Those challenges take place uh, from the week, I think, 213 to 219. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yeah, that's right. I had to, I'm had. i hooked on phonics a little bit today. It's okay. Don't worry. Um, the first challenge, day one, is mirror image. Uh, it's paying homage to and or recreating a blackish book cover. Day two is Muslim narrative. Day three, the challenge is black joy. Day four, the challenge is a Caribbean narrative. Day five, the challenge is a black classic that's challenging you to do a black classic that takes place in something other than a Euro or American setting. Day six is a black trans narrative and day seven is a black disabled character on a journey. I knew that. I don't know why I had to look down my notes. I'm a little paranoid. I'm gonna fuck this up, but it's all right. We, we get back in habit, Jesus. Like muscle ain't used in a minute. Got it. It's all right. Y'all heard that pop? Shit about a shit. Talk about a muscle I use that shit hurt. God damn it. All right, for IG, there are teams. The teams have separate hosts. Firstly, on Team Sci Fi, there is Starla from Starla Reads. Team Contemporary, there is a Book of Sins. For horror, it will be co hosted by Chanel Time and Nina, Wandering Reader. Good reminder. Okay. So make sure you are following all three. There will also be a Netflix watch party for a horror movie that is co-hosted by Chanel Time, Wandering Reader, and Bowties and Books. For the movie Hold the Dark, that will take place. That took place on February 19th at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right, now for the YouTube teams. Eh, 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 eh. Firstly, Team Sci-Fi Fantasy. Yeah, buddy, headed up by yours truly, Lauren from the novel Lush. Can, come on, man. <laughs> There'll be three reading prompts and a group book. You can combine, divide, and conquer however you'd like to do it. Whatever you have to do to creatively get through these challenges, that is okay. There's no rule that says you need to go read one book for each challenge. You can read one book that greets all four challenges. I don't know if the group book meets all four. I don't think it does. But it, if you can maneuver it, do you, boo. But again, remember that you have an entire month. So if you read two books, one's a group book, the other one you can get the three challenges in there. If that works for you, do it. If you prefer to read a book for each one, two books for each one, that's cool too. Do what you do. We are not judging. I'm not putting rules. The creator, Jesse, beloved, didn't make those rules. They said you can be it. Do, do how you do. Do you, boo. Do you. Like this dog is not letting me do right now. The first, first book prompt. Book, book prompt. Themed after Rita Woods. Read a book in which the character traverses the spiritual realm or heavily embodies black spiritualism and spirituality. Prompt number two is Tage Thompson. Read a book in which a black protagonist encounters an alien civilization or alien technology. Prompt number three is based on Octavia Butler. Read a book in which time travel is a major component to the story. And then the group book, prompt number four, Read the Lesson by Cadwell Turnbull. Now, uh, I this book was not on my radar until I heard Jesse reading it, but it looks amazeballs. It looks, it looks really good, actually. It looks right up my alley. An alien ship rests over Water Island. For five years, the people of the U.S. Virgin Islands have lived with the, you know, I butchered that. A race of super advanced aliens on a research mission they will not fully disclose. They are benevolent in many ways, but meet any act of aggression with disproportional wrath. Yes. Yes. Please. Thank you. Holla. So that's it. Those are the four prompts. Um, if you want to mush all of the other books and remember the overall theme is travelers, journeys. If you can mush all of the other three prompts into one book, you want to read two books for the month or however you want to do it you can only if you only want to read one book the group book or not the group book another book that's fine look like i said do you all right then we have team contemporary lit slash non-fiction and that is headed up by ashley over at the bookish realm again all these people's information will be linked down in the description box reading prompts as follows one Maisie card read a book that takes place over one character's lifespan or an intergenerational narrative Two, Patsy. 
Two queer characters embark on a journey together. Bonus points if it's a tangible journey, such as a road trip. Three, Nettie Okorafor. Read a book in which a disabled character embarks on a journey or a book by a disabled black author. And then number four, the group book, is The Secret Lives of Baba Segi's Wives by Lola Shonian. And remember, at least one of the books must be in a non-US, non-UK setting. And that is also for my team as well. And then we have Team Thriller slash Horror, which is headed up by Jesse. Y'all don't watch Jesse's channel. If you've seen a couple of videos even, you know that horror is Jesse's shit. I think one of the first videos I watched of them um, was around Halloween time where they recreated, um, they did a bunch of skits based on movies and my favorite one they did was based on Silence of the Lambs. When I tell you I fucking hollered, duh. Oh my God, this shit was so funny. All right, so prompt number one for team thriller slash horror. Megan Giddings, read a book in which a black character moves to a new town with an old secret. Prompt number two, Victor Levaye, a super, uh, read a supernatural or paranormal horror. Prompt number three, Rachel Housel, read a book taking place on a vacation, sabbatical, or a decadent setting. And then number four, the group book, read The Wife of Gods by Quay Corte. Corte. Oof, Jesus. And then again, remember that at least one of these books needs to take place in a non-European, non-American setting. All right, so there are also YouTube challenges. Let's get into that, because my bad is ready. That didn't sound right. YouTube challenges are basically a vlogging challenge. You can vlog all of these into one vlog, like vlog every day and try to meet the challenges and just have that vlog encompassing a week. Or you can do a, a daily vlog every day that week, however you want to participate. If you choose to participate in the YouTube vlogging challenge, that is up to you. So the first one, first challenge is to read a 2021 anticipated release. Number two, day two, create a fan cast for a black book that needs an adaptation. A-S-A-P, like yesterday. Day three, the challenge is to make an Afrocentric meal or treat or order from a local black business. Don't forget about black cuisine that is not. American. Um, number four, Jesse has created a black trivia quiz. It is a black history trivia quiz and a uh, black author slash literature quiz. They will be linking those on their channel and I believe they will also get linked on the Black Design Twitter page. But the challenge is to take that quiz and see how well you do. Number five, so wear slash create a culturally appropriate now outfit inspired by your favorite black characters put i should not have to say this i shouldn't have to say this i'm saying anyway don't you fucking put no black face on don't do it i'm gonna just say that y'all know what culturally appropriate is let's be culturally appropriate you can wear outfits inspired by however no mockery of religious sacred items artifacts garb the costuming of those religious artifacts like coming here with i'm not explaining it anymore y'all know what it means draw or paint an iconic black book character and see if people can guess what it is i have to paint a person y'all gonna be like it's a brown stick figure who that supposed to be then seven pick a spooky story from the nightlight podcast or share visual artwork that you love from a black artist. I'm, I can't read my own handwriting. Child of Milan. And then, lastly, there is an emerging author contest. Y'all, I told you, it's, it's a lot of stuff going on this time around. I'm super stoked about it. So the emerging author contest, if you are a black writer, you don't have to have published anything yet. You don't even have to have anything completed to be trying to shop around yet. If you're an emerging author, we want to read your stuff. Now, now, um, let's talk entries and submissions. Entries will be submitted to uh, the YouTube team leaders, okay? So if you are a sci-fi fantasy writer, submit your entries to myself. You can submit them at the novelish at gmail.com. If you're a team contemporary lit slash nonfiction, you can submit your entry to Ashley of the Bookish Realm. And if you're a team of horror thriller, you can submit them to Jesse. Bow ties and books, so will also be down in the description box. 
Now, entries need to be themed. Journeys, travel, same theme as Blackathon. They need to be one between one paragraph and no more than two pages. Now, I'm not super picky if you like a pair, like a sentence past two pages, like, okay, like, it's not a big deal. Um, but try to keep it around two pages. The winner will be announced at the end of Blackathon and your story will be shared if that's okay with you. Consent is important. Um, remember when you make your submissions to me and to Ashley and to Jesse that you include whether or not you are okay. Please don't forget to do this. Please include whether or not it is okay for your story to be shared if you win. We do not want to share anybody's story without their consent. That is super, super important. First prize winner will get $75 or if you prefer $50 and a pack of Jesse's TBR cards. I will link the channel down in the description box so you can see what I'm talking about, but I'm sure y'all know. And the second place winner will get either $25 cash or a pack of TBR cards. It will be up to you. Woo child, that was a lot of stuff. I am super freaking stoked. So y'all see there are YouTube challenges, there are IG challenges, there are Twitter challenges, there are movie watch alongs, there's a Netflix watch, Netflix, there's a Netflix watch party. There's challenges for new and emerging authors. Like this shit is hella dope. My body is so ready. Oh, I needed this in my life. I needed this in my life. Uh, it's unfortunate that it took me forever to get this video put together, but my office was in shambles. I didn't have a place to film. It feels good to be sitting in front of my bookcases again with my drink, talking to y'all about bookish shit. Bruh, yes, I needed that. This is what I needed to get me out of my funk. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not completely out of my funk, but this is this has gone a long way. I feel really fucking good right now. Before I came to sit down and film, I was like, God, fuck, I don't want to do anything right now. Just, uh. But like sitting here in front of this camera, in front of bookcases, like, I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm hype. Let's do this. So, you can participate in, one more time, either of the challenges, any of the challenges, all of the challenges. You can do one of the challenges, participate for just that week. You can do just the reading challenges, participate just that week. You can do the IG ones, participate that week. You can do the Twitter uh, movie watch along. You can participate to any extent that you want to participate, be it one week, be it two weeks, be it the entire month of freaking February. It's Black History Month. We are celebrating fucking black excellence. Let's do this shit. Let's do it. As I darkly shove my glasses up my face, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't think I was gonna be this hype. All right. So that's it for this video today, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. Um, you can reach out to the Blackathon page on Twitter. You can reach out to me in the comments. Um, ask. That's what we're here for. And I'll see y'all on the other side. Bye.